Only on three, hyperbaric oxygen therapy may be the answer for a Virginia Beach police officer struggling to recover after being hit by a drunk driver. As News Channel 3's Todd Carrillo reports, it's a therapy that's worked for another Virginia Beach man. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy. It's been used to heal combat veterans returning scarred from the battlefield by professional football players reeling from hard hits on the field and by ordinary folks like 22-year-old Matt D'Angelo. Having academic issues and social issues and depression, anxiety. Matt's story is one that might sound familiar if you have kids. Bumps on the playground, collisions on the soccer field, and then a hit during sand soccer in high school. After my 10th grade year, I was 16 and I had a, another head injury. I was going up for a header with another player and hit heads and I actually had a seizure on the field. They now call it an impact seizure. It's a one time because of some type of trauma to the head, it's an impact seizure. That's mom, Jennifer Cuddle. After the hit, the changes in Matt bothered her. He starts having problems in school. His grades start dropping. He's hiding the fact that he's having issues. Everything's okay, mom, I'll be fine. Um, he started pulling away from his social group. So she started fighting. We went on to see psychiatrist, psychologist, he was on medication, and they basically said, uh, you know, Ms. Cottle, you know, this is who Matthew is now, and, and it's okay. Angered okay, by that response, she kept sisters. fighting, searching. Finally, it was a neuropsychologist who listened. He put him through a battery of tests, and they confirmed that he was suffering from post-concussion syndrome. With a name for what was wrong came more research and finally hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Matt admits he was skeptical at first. I thought it was odd. I thought it was weird. After all, for an hour each treatment, he is a boy in a plastic bubble, sitting with a hood over his head, waiting, breathing. The initial 10 minutes when you're actually being compressed um, you just, you hear the sounds of the air coming into the tank and it sounds like a metal tank filling with air. It actually forces the oxygen to dissolve into the plasma, the bloodstream, the tissues, the muscle and to promote accelerated healing. Yet as wacky as it may look, Matt says the fog that once clouded his brain has now disappeared. That was probably the most immediate change and the most visible and I was able to you know, speak a lot more clearly. My thoughts were processing the way I wanted them to. It's success like that that gives former Virginia Beach police officer Ted Mariner hope. Hope that hyperbaric therapy will give him relief. Relief from nine years of agony after a drunk driver sent him into a tailspin. From the reactions of the folks who've been through it that have the same symptoms as I do that say they're getting relief, I believe it's a, it's a good chance it's going to help something. I mean, I'm willing to try it. Hampton Roads Hyperbaric Therapy will host a seminar this weekend called Concussion Discussion, where all proceeds will benefit Ted Mariner's treatment. Now, we have posted the full details on how you can attend and donate. Just click on this story on the homepage of WTKR.com. It is being held on Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon at the Renova Wellness Center in Norfolk. As far as Matt D'Angelo is concerned, he is now earning A's and B's studying for an environmental science degree at Virginia Tech. Live in the control room, Todd Carrillo, News Channel 3.